Hello everyone, welcome to Car Town Kia. I'm Gabrielle, here with Alex. Now Alex would like to go over some details on a new 2023. This is the Kia Sorento, it's the SX Prestige X-Line. So Alex, talk a little bit about it. Yeah, so a little bit of a mouthful, SX Prestige X-Line. This is the top dog with an extra off-road package. So. Um, I know everyone likes to see the engine, so we'll start there. This thing's powered by a 2.5 liter uh, four-cylinder. It's a turbo four-cylinder that puts out an impressive 281 horsepower. You have 311 feet pounds of torque. Everything is topside on a Kia. It's real easy to maintain. Front of the, uh, the fascia here, everything is LED with this being an SX Prestige. We have LED fog lights. LED headlights, the LED daytime running lights are beautiful. They stay on all the time. I love the look of those. Coming around to the side, all weather continental tires. Uh, these rims too are beautiful. So only on the X-Line, it comes with a satin finish. All the other ones, you'll have a gloss finish. These are more of a uh, satin finish, almost have a texture to them, but they're 20 inch rims, look beautiful. And all your X-Line badges. Anything with an X2 with Kia, if you ever see X, you always know it's all wheel drive. So just a heads up, if you ever see X, X means all wheel drive. You'll see it on a lot of our vehicles. Uh, this one being an X line, the only difference between it and an SX Prestige, you'll have the 20 inch machine finished alloy wheels with the satin finish. You'll have raised roof rails and then all the uh, pieces, the trim pieces that make it look more like rugged, like more off road. So going into the cabin, passive entry on the uh, driver and the passenger door, we'll pop it open, see what's up. Also, just to uh, point out too, we do have heated exterior mirrors. We do have our blind spot monitors. And then this one will have cameras in the mirrors. So 360 surround view camera. We'll have four cameras total that kind of puts together a picture for us. We'll see that here in just a second. So in the cabin, this thing feels extremely luxury. If you look down by my seat, you see all the diamond stitching that's embossed. And this is genuine leather right here on the side, but it's just beautiful leather. We have a leather wrap on the side, even on the door frame. We have uh, this cool wood grain feel, memory seats, power folding mirrors. We've got all of our uh, up and down, automatic up and down. This button also will lock the doors. So it'll lock the window and the doors. If you have kids and you're worried about them, you know, popping the door while you're driving down the road, you can, you can lock them in like that. So from the cockpit, beautiful cockpit, this one being the turbo and, uh, you know, being an SX Prestige, I do have paddle shifters. So if you decide you want to, you know, play with the gears a little bit, you can usually use these paddle shifters. I've got automatic dimming bright lights, which is a really nice feature. This one also has those fog lights that we we're showing you up front, uh, LED, they're really beautiful. I've got on this side, automatic rain sensing windshield wipers. And so you can see we're right here where it says automatic auto. Uh, when we turn it down to that setting in our dashboard, which is all digital, which is pretty cool. When we turn it down to auto, now I can set the, uh, set how fast it will go on auto. So like say if it's raining really hard, you know, I can, I can turn it up like um, to a faster speed when it senses rain, it will, you know, wipe, it'll do its thing for you. Uh, on the steering wheel, we've got adaptive cruise control, which is the new highway driving assist two, which is this button. It senses the distance between you and the car in front of you. It kind of slows things down. If, uh, if you're coming up on someone's tail, you have your cruise control set at a certain speed, really cool feature. You actually can come to a complete stop at a stop sign and then tap the gas pedal again. Whenever the light goes green, car will take back off at your desired speed. So good feature there. All right, Alex. So there is a lot of stuff going on right here. So tell us a little bit about that. We've got a ton of features. When we get to the prestige level, it comes with realistically everything. So we have heated, not only heated, but we have ventilated three levels for each of those seats. And the same thing for Gabby over here on the right-hand side for the passenger. I'm going to put my heated seats on right now. <laughs> <laughs> We've got a wireless phone charging pad where you can just lay your phone down inside of that tray. And we can even close this to keep it shut off from people from seeing. Uh, down here we have our electronic differential lock. There's several different drive modes. And with this one having a digital dashboard, every time I change one of these drive modes, my gauges will change. So I've got my sport mode, my racing gauges, comfort, eco, snow, with this one being all wheel drive. Uh, or smart and so that electronic differential lock what it does when you push this button 
it locks all four wheels together. So it, you know, it helps you get out of a rut. We also have a heated steering wheel, which is turned on right now as things getting really toasty. Now here's a really cool thing about the Sorento with uh, the prestige package. If I hit the camera button, you can see now I've got 360 surround view camera. And so when this thing is in reverse or in drive, it will show me directionals for not only where the back end of my car is going, but where every single tire. So it will show me exactly what direction, what path my car is gonna take whenever I'm in reverse. So a really cool feature there. Now, if you're wondering what your car has, if all this is confusing, uh, for a lot of people that are getting into a new car with all the, the new technology, if we hit on settings, we go to vehicle, and then here's all your driver assistance features. If it makes it easier to read instead of just seeing them on a screen, you can push this button. It will break them down for you, um, top, you know, piece by piece. You can also change the volume. So some people hate, like whenever they cross a lane, it will, you know, beep, 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 but it's too loud. You can change the volume setting on that uh, along with the rest of these things, uh, which we have a ton of safety features. So we also have an auto dimming mirror up top. This has three garage door openers on it. We call it home link for Kia, but you can um, pair it to a, a gate at your farm or your home or, you know, your, your, uh, father's house, you know, three different garages or three different uh, gates that are compatible with, you know, this technology you'd be able to use it with. All your lights inside of here are all touchscreen. So we just touch on the light, they'll come on. This will turn all my lights on. And this is if I was to open the door, all the lights come on. Now we do have a hidden panoramic sunroof. It goes all the way back. And so that's just the shade. I can also pop back just the front half of this sunroof. We have a little bug catcher that pops up. And I do, I do want to show one thing that's pretty cool just because we're going into winter. So in the, uh, in the settings feature, there's a climate button. And so in this climate button, there's a, a defrog or defrost option. So if we click on this button, you can see that uh, we can actually automatically defog. This car will sense the humidity inside of the car and it will change uh, you know, humidity, it will dehumidify the car or, you know, humidify the car depending on where uh, or what conditions you're under just to make sure that the windshield never fogs up. You also have automatic, uh, there's the automatic dehumidify. So if you have too much humidity inside of the car. Now here's another cool thing, recirculate air. So every time the washer fluid comes on, it automatically blocks the flow of any kind of outside air. So it turns on the recirculate air also inside of a tunnel where there's a lot of fumes and, and everything else, uh, it will automatically cut off the outside air. Keep your family safe. And uh, we've got navigation, full on navigation. There's, a, there's so many features on this thing. I mean, we could go for days, but we'll check out the, uh, yeah, we'll check out the back. So for the rear cabin, this is again, pure luxury. For any kid that's sitting back here, I would love to be him or her. You have uh, full on sun shades here in the door panels. Again, everything is leather stitched, it's real leather stitch. We have heated seats for the second row. This whole entire car is wrapped around with a Bose sound system. It sounds amazing. And we, again, we have our real leather stitched lining here that's embossed, beautiful interior. I think this is one of the most beautiful interiors that Kia makes in its whole lineup. We also have a home plug, so which is really nice. We can plug in just a regular, uh, you know, phone charger or really anything that you can plug at your house usb chargers as well um, there are usb chargers in the back of the driver and passenger seats which are nice we'll go along to the back uh, gas tank too if we have our car locked it automatically locks the gas tank so that's a question your insurance company will ask you but it usually can save you some money every car that comes on our lot we also install a pulse brake light that's another way to save some money on insurance so when we hit the brake pedal this back tail light will blink three times. So it's a safety device, rear end collision, helps out for that. Power lift gate on this thing, push a button, opens her up. We can see third row seating, which comes standard on, on all Sorrentos. And so it's a, uh, a six seater. This is not a 60-40 split, it's a 50-50 split. So all of the Sorrentos that have captain chairs in the middle what will, will be six seater. So it'll be two seats in the front, two seats in the middle, two seats in the back. 
back ones are a little bit more narrow only reason is because you don't have a gap in between them but to get these seats up we just pull up on these levers they'll fold up pop out and there we go fold everything down we pull these levers again push down and then we have buttons that are here on the side here l for left r for right if we just push these buttons these seats will fold flat which i've got my driver's seat pushed back so far right now but both of these buttons essentially they're designed to lay completely flat you'll be able to slide whatever you need straight up in there we have our tire repair kit off to the right little storage bin on the left and then any anchor hooks so if you plan on uh, putting you know a net uh, down for for travel keeping things from rolling around you have that as well all right, guys, and one thing, too, on the Sorento is on all 23 gas, you're going to get 0.9% for up to 48 months, and we have plenty of them in stock, so great time to buy. If you have any questions, all of our contact info is listed right here. We hope to see you soon. Bye.